All rise. It's J.P. and Mary on the Rock. 95.7 WXRC, The Rock, the 4th of July, is just around the corner and here to share with us her thoughts on the holiday season, of course, is Dinah Shore. Morning, Dinah. Good morning, J.P. How are you this morning? I'm just fine. I'd like to know what the 4th of July means to you, Dinah Shore. Well, oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Yes. The Holly Farm Sunny Bass Roaster <laughs> baking up so right. <laughs> Dinah, do you, do you plan to shoot off any firecrackers for the 4th of July? You know, speaking of crackers, yes. if you take some saltines and crunch them up all nice and moist and juicy, it yeah. makes an excellent stuffing. Haney. Haney's in the hall. Haney, come in here. What did you do for Mother's Day? Good morning, J.P. Well, good morning, Mr. Haney. It's the day after Mother's Day, and I bet I know where you were yesterday. That's right. Spent the whole day with my number one gal. Aw. <laughs> with the woman who always welcomes me with open arms. Yeah. Spent the day with the woman who always gives her love freely. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> Spent the day with the woman who always holds me to her bosom in my time of need. <laughs> so you were at Mom's house yesterday. Heck no, I was with Bambi from the Boom Boom Room. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, looking forward to seeing the return of the dinosaurs at Discovery Place. They're going to be arriving Saturday. Admission, three bucks. Look, pictures of them in the paper there. Mary, you see that? Yes. Wait, wait a minute. Someone's at the door. Come in. Good morning, JP. How uh, are you this morning? I'm doing fine. Good morning, Dinah. How are you? Oh, just happy. Happy to learn that everybody's glad that I'm going to be on exhibit at Discovery Place. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. That's right. Dinah Shaw on exhibit at Discovery Place. Boy, Dinah, no, 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 no. You're... Just come on by and see me. It's three dollars. <laughs> no, Dinah. Not a replica. <laughs> the original Dinah Shaw. No, 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 not. A lot of people thought I was extinct, <laughs> but no, this is the real thing. Just three dollars at Discovery Place to see Dinah Shaw. <laughs> no, no, Dinah. It's not Dinah Shore. It's dinosaurs. <laughs> Dinosaurs. I see. They're different. You see, they are extinct. They're old creatures. Well, do you know what dinosaurs eats? <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that again. Try it again, would you, Dinah? Do you know what dinosaur eats? No. What What does dinosaur eat? Holly Farms. Holly Farms. Sunday Best Sunday Roaster. Best Roaster. Thank you. Okay. 95.7 WXRC. Good morning, JP. Buenos dias, senor. Well, it's Mr. Haney. Haney, I'm glad you're here. We were just getting ready to play this La Bamba tune. I love La Bamba. Isn't that a cool record? I don't know what the words mean. People have been calling up. What do the words mean? You you had Spanish in high school, didn't you? Si. <laughs> that means yes in English. Thank you, Goober, for that. Okay, can you translate? Si. All right, let's play this tune. Tell us what the lyrics mean. Si. All right, all right. Shoes in the bathroom. Cough causing phlegm. The hair is stopping up the toilet. See y'all later. <laughs> There's a cell down at Kmart. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Haney. What? I thought you said you had Spanish in high school. Oh, I thought you said Spanish. I had Spanish in high school. Get out of here, Haney. I Annie. don't know nothing about Spanish. Get out of here. Adios. Haney. Adios. Spring break is going on now for a lot of folks. Some people have had it already. Some are just getting around to it with Easter here. So we're keeping you up to date on what's going on at Myrtle Beach. Let's go down there live via satellite right. with Mr. Haney and find out what's going on. I love beach music. Do you? <laughs> always have, always will. Haney, what are those crazy college kids up to today? JP, I've never seen so many naked girls in my life. <laughs> Wait, you mean you mean you've seen girls naked on the beach? Of course not. I had to peek through their windows at shower time. <laughs> Amy, never mind that. What's, go what's going on on the beach now? Well, the fellers have spent most of the morning tossing the old oblong disc. You mean a frisbee? No, my hair piece. <laughs> and the dog just nabbed it. Come here, boy. <laughs> sit, Ubu, sit. Oh, no. Now the world knows about your bald spot. Bald spot? Yeah. This ain't no bald spot. Oh, no. It's a solar panel for a love machine. <laughs> Rock of the Carolinas, 95.7 WXRC. Good morning. It's 831, JP and Mary. And someone out there? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here comes Haney, I think. 
Good morning, JP. Good morning, Mr. Haney. What is that you have there? It looks like a jar full of dirt. Dirt? dirt. I'll have you know this is the genuine earth touched by Tammy Faye Baker's lips upon her return to North Carolina. Oh, no, you don't mean. That's right, genuine Tiga K. Clay. <laughs> Get a few tears and you've got a PTL mud pack. Get out of here. By the way, do you know who won the Rosemary Clooney fight? Oh, yeah. Get out of here. You ever wonder who writes all the tunes you hear? No. Well, in case you do, <laughs> seems that there are a lot of would-be songwriters out there. Kentucky Fried Chicken just had an amateur songwriting contest. Doing their bit for entertainment. And I know someone who entered that contest personally. <laughs> of course we do. Let me guess. And here she comes down the hall. It's would-be songwriter Dinah Shore. Gathering flowers. Good morning, JP. Well, good morning, Dinah. I knew if we were talking about chicken, you'd show up. You know I'd have to be here now, wouldn't you? Of course. Now, Dinah, did you have a tune in? in that contest? Mm, you know, I certainly did, little JP. <laughs> would, you, would you do it for us? I'd be mighty proud to do something like this. Could I have an intro, please, maestro? <laughs> Sucking on a chicken leg outside the KFC. <laughs> Dinah's on the colonel's lap. Got his hands between the teeth. Colonel says, me now, Dinah. Just run off behind the A&P. <laughs> Dribble off those Sansa belts. <laughs> I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> but that's oh, a, uh, that's now I ruined it. Oh, Dinah. What a strange ending for you. You get the picture anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. And no mention of Holly Vines, Sunny Bass Roaster. But that's going to be on my next album. Oh, is it now? Have you heard Buttons and Bows? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out where the hottest spot on the beach is with Mr. Haney. I'm here at the Grand Strand's hottest spot. This is where the hep cats hang out. Well, Haney, it sounds pretty quiet there to me. I don't hear people dancing and music, and uh, what's the problem? Well, I'm not so sure myself. So far, it's just a bunch of fellers talking about auto parts. Auto parts? <laughs> That's right. Gaskets, master cylinders, manifold. Haney, are you, are you sure you're at Crazy Zach's? <laughs> Crazy Zach's? Yeah, Crazy Zach's. That's where all the college kids hang out. I thought you said Crazy Joe's <laughs> at an auto parts store. Oh, no. Whew, that explains why Junior here tried to give me a lube job. <laughs> the Rock of the Carolinas, 95.7 WXRC. Good morning, and today is the day that we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Beatles' release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Truly a momentous occasion. And on top of that, here in North Carolina, <laughs> celebrating the 61st anniversary of Andy Griffith, our own Andy Griffith. <laughs> yep, barn, yep, yep, yep. So in honor of this, we go now live via satellite to Mayberry to the Bluebird Diner, where an all-star celebration is going on for the Beatles and Andy Griffith. Right. We take you there now live. When I find myself in Siler City, I want to go to Mayberry. <laughs> Who will send me bus fare? Let it be. Hey. <laughs> Goobers in the filling station got all of his dungarees. <laughs> Who will get the stain out? Let it be. 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 Who will get the stain out? Let it be. <laughs> I heard Floyd the barber say he was cutting Andy Griffith's hair, sitting in the barber's chair. So may I pass it along to you, what I've known for all these years. 